Well, I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on something you really don't see every day. Um, it's not going to be on how to spawn people in Skyrim using console commands. Better yet, it's going to be learning or knowing how to spawn lots of people in Skyrim without your computer crashing. You know, if, you, if you've ever really wanted to make a really huge battle full of nothing but people, and let's go ahead and get started here. Um, me and my, uh, my assassin followers here, so, uh, let's go ahead and head out to an open field, and we will, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, a lot of people's computers usually crash when the use of spawning more than 15 NPCs, and the cure is the Skyrim script extender. This really helps out with everything, it makes mods more usable, and they not usable but it doesn't let the game crash on you as much so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I mean by that All right, let's go to help Imperials because I don't like Imperials uh, A B B two three and let's spawn uh, about 40 of them and they will eventually get here. Oh, what is that? Hmm. Must be something wrong with it. Let me go over here for a second. Spawn them in another place. Alright. Uh, something is just going wrong here. Nope. Uh, there's a dragon. Hello. Slow motion. reason decided to spawn like 40 bows here. Well, I'll try to fix this. Let's see here. Sorry for the uh, technical difficulties here. Uh, get them resolved here. Oh, oh, one. Five, six, seven. All right, let's try forty again. There we are. See, look at that. 40, 40 NPCs, no problem. And again, I'm using the Skyrim script extender plus my six to seven followers here. And you know what? I'm gonna just have a little battle here for you. So let's go. Might lag just a tad here for just for a few seconds, but you know. We'll go ahead and start. See, there is, on my screen, I'm having no lag, no problems at all loading all these NPCs. Now, let's go ahead and go over here and spawn some more. See, look at this. There's no lag, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with anything. And see, my, my followers are attacking all these Imperials here, and there's Imperials attacking everywhere. But you know what the good thing about this, the Skyrim Script Extender lets you do this. The only problem I found with the Skyrim Script Extender is that it will lag out sometimes and it will bash you out of the game, but it won't be uh, of having too many NPCs. I can probably promise you that. See, it's just, you can have this imp NPCs battles and, they're, and they're, really, they're really fun to have. And uh, if usually someone might not have the computer to do this, but if you have the at least the minimum requirements for to play Skyrim, which is like DirectX, you shouldn't have any problem as long as you install Skyrim Script Extender. And I will be putting this in the comment section below, a uh, download link to the Skyrim Script Extender. And so I hope you guys enjoy me killing all these Imperials. Uh, Let's get a little magic involved. I also am going to be my, doing my third episode of the Assaulting of Skyrim. I do not know which, you know, city to do it on next, but uh, I'll find out that in a few minutes, to be honest. So, oh, you guys are making some weird utter sounds here. See my little assassin people. That's pretty cool.
Hmm. Still got you guys here. Now there's going to be a little bit of a long battle here, you guys. So I hope you guys just stay here and watch with me or not. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. Look at that. That is another good mod of mine. Lord Shadow Scythe. He is just an amazing uh, skeletal follower. And he, he knows... He's a great mage, and I like to have mages as followers, and one-handed uh, people. They're pretty cool. Was that all of them? Did they kill all of them already? Ah, oh, come on now. There's got to be more than that. That was pretty quick. We might spawn some more. I think that was all of them. I think that was all of them. Wow. No? We're still attacking some here? Okay. Ooh. Just having some fun killing some these uh, mages here. Villagent Stendard. Oh well. Okay. Alright. Alright, maybe we'll spawn a few more just for the fun of it. And uh, let's see here. Let me scroll through my weapons. I'm going to take that, that mod or that sword that guy has. He, it's one of, a mod I could talk about while I'm having a uh, conversation with you guys. Um, I am th here the hell sword. It is an amazing mod. It looks just perfect I'm gonna give him one of my swords so it doesn't feel left out here. Here you go. Give you my uh, uh Yeah, I'll give you this. Okay All right All right now there is going to be a lot of dead bodies around here, so I might want to move move places so let's See if we can go. See, this sword is look just looks amazing. It's one of the Daedric looking swords. So I guess we can. Uh, we can maybe we can spawn some over here. Let's not spawn too many though. Uh, let's go down to about thirty. Look at that. Okay. Now this sword is just amazing. It will just four hundred and fifty damage. Amazing. Have some little force grip here. You know, I don't want to be using too many kill moves on here when there's so many people. I just want to hack and slash through them, so let's fix that. Uh, powers, stance of death. There we go. Let's fix that real quick. Adjust settings, kill move chance. Let's slow that down. Yeah, it's at 100. I, I really like the uh, kill move animations, but on um, this particular time, nah, not too much. Alright, here we go. Now we can start hacking, slashing, and throwing them without too many kill moves going on. Well, I guess not. They need to fix that, that little animation there. They... The UFO mod, the ultimate follower mod, or ultimate follower overhaul mod is also an excellent mod. See, I, I had like my little, all of my like assassin looking type and people and I'm also wearing the Ezio uh, auditory kind of look and it's, it's pretty cool having a little Assassin's Creed in Skyrim. But uh, with the UFO mod you could get up to 15 followers. And I have about six or seven right now, and my favorite is Lord Shadow Scythe way back there, lagging behind. He's a mage, and he's, he, he just loves doing all kinds of stuff, see? He just revives all kinds of people and everything. Alright, now let's spawn just a little bit more, and then I hope you, and then we'll probably be done. See, again, there's just no, there's no lag, it's just... In the regular Skyrim, you cannot load this many people. So I will probably be providing on what to do, or um, where to download the Skyrim script extender at for PC. Um, so hopefully, all of you guys know how to spawn NPCs. It's not too. Well, that was another quick 30 people we killed here. 
All that blood on that sword. Well, this has been Zodiac Marksman or Jared here from Zodiac Killer Gaming. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I will see you guys on the Assault of Skyrim next video. See you guys. Thanks.